Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're going to talk about custom groups and how to save them so that you can load them for future sessions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into browse. Actually, before that, let's pick a group and select a pad. So I'm going to select this pad, hit on browse and uh, let's navigate to samples. So I'm on samples, but we have groups, instruments, effects. So let's go to samples and in the user samples, click on user, you're going to have your imported samples or pick any samples that you like. But for now, I'm gonna pick a bass drum on my first pad. So I'm gonna pick any bass drum. So I'm gonna to scroll to one. So let's say I picked that. So I like that. And now I'm gonna move on to my second pad and I'm gonna select it. Then I'm gonna to go to snares and I'll pick uh, any snare. So let's see. All right, so that's a good one. And then third pad, I'm gonna grab a hi-hat. So I don't have an imported hi-hat, so I'm gonna go back to my sounds, select user again, so that I'm out of the user selection, or unselect user. And then I'm gonna navigate to drums, close hi-hats, and pick something random. So I'm going to hit pad mode, select fixed velocity, and now everything will play at maximum velocity. All right, so now that I'm liking how my drum kit is sounding, I'm going to go to this other pad and let's pick a different sound. So something like from my samples, I'll go back to offbeat bass. So let's say I pick a bass sound and in my offbeat bass, actually also in my software, if I click on this library tab on the left, you can see that we're in this section. So if I scroll over here, you can see we're in that section. So I'm going to pick uh, a bass. And right now we're in the key of A. So I'm going to pick something like... So if I like that, what I'm going to do, or what I like to do is, I duplicate that sound in my next pad. And let's click on Browse again. And we're going to be out of this section and we're going to uh, see our edit menu for the sound. So let's navigate to where we see pitch gate. And I'm going to change the tuning to plus 12. All right. And in the next pad, I'm going to pick a different bass. So browse. And then I'm going to navigate to... Now we're in A sharp, but we can always pitch that down. So I'll pick something like... And now that I like that, I'm going to hit Browse again and tune this down by one. So from A sharp to A, it's one half step. So minus one. And then I can hit Duplicate, select that pad, select the next pad. So it's duplicated. And then I'll tune it down. So minus two more, which is G. So now we have A, 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 G. All right, sweet. So what you can do next is just fill up all these pads, or if you like your group like this, just leave it like that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna pick another one. So I'll go back into browse, and let's say I pick something in the key of C. So something like this. And then I'll duplicate that to the first pad in that row. And because this is in the key of C, C to A is minus three half steps. So I'm going to go into tuning and minus three, which will make it A. And now I can duplicate that sound to the next pad and then raise this by 12 steps. So that's gonna be one octave. So it's in minus three right now and I'll take it to nine. So that's gonna be A again. And then I can duplicate that one more time and then pitch it down by two. So now I have A, 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 G and A, A, G, C. So check it out.
Alright, so now that I like how my group is sounding, I'm going to go into my software over here, and in the left where it says Group A1, I'm going to right click on this A1 and hit Save As. And when I click Save As, it's going to open up this window with these folders. So make sure you're in Groups over here, which is already going to be in your machine folder by default. So I'm going to go back to this Groups folder, and I'm going to name this as Tutorial CT for creating tracks, of course. So, OK. And now if I go into a different group, so let's say I hit C, and I right click, I can open and I can open this tutorial CT. So if I have a different project, I can do that and it's gonna open the same group. So there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more. Until next week, peace.